In this video, I am going to explain muscles which do internal rotation and external rotation for shoulder joint. Let me explain internal rotation first. Internal rotation. From this picture, I am going to pick up three muscles. First muscle is this one, this very big muscle. This is pectoralis major. Pectoralis major. Also known as pec major. This is very strong internal rotator of shoulder. So number one, pec major. Number two, which is this muscle. This is deltoid. Particularly anterior fiber. Anterior fiber. Why is that? If you look at carefully, direction of fiber is slightly diagonal, right? Because of this vector of fiber, when muscle pulls bone this way, that makes internal rotation force. Does it make sense? Oh my gosh, these two muscles are so strong for internal rotation. But number three is not that very strong. Number three is biceps brachii. Biceps brachii, but very weak. Because its direction of fiber is pretty much vertical, right? And it's slightly diagonal for short head. And there's little bit horizontal direction for long head. But most of part is very vertical. Compared to pec major, it's pretty much horizon, right? Deltoid anterior fiber is diagonal, but it's better than biceps brachii. That is why biceps brachii can do very weak internal rotation. Main internal rotators are pectoris major and deltoid anterior fiber. Now let's go to a little bit deeper structure. Next one is number four is this one, this is subscapularis. Scapularis. Okay, this is part of rotator cuff. By the way, I will explain two more rotator cuffs in today's video. So, subscapularis does internal rotation. This is anterior part of scapula. This muscle originates from anterior part of scapula, then it attaches on to anterior part of humerus. That is why this muscle can do internal rotation. That's natural, right? But if you look the muscles, which I'm going to explain next picture, that's gonna be a little bit different. I am going to show you from posterior view. Okay, this is posterior view. I am still explaining internal rotator. Number five is this one. Latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi. Number six is this one. This is teres major. Again, these muscles are on back side of body, okay? These guys originate from back side of body, but these muscles can do internal rotation. How come? Why is that? Because insertion of these two muscles are in front of humerus. So uh, this is posterior part, P. Insertion is anterior part, 
A. Okay? If latissimus dorsi and teres major inserts on posterior part, they might do external rotation. It's like a subscapularis, right? Subscapularis originates from anterior part and inserts to anterior part. Anterior to anterior. That's why subscapularis can do internal rotation. If latissimus and teres major inserts to posterior part, they might do external rotation. But insertion, reality is anterior part. So that makes slightly kind of spiral orientation. That orientation brings to internal rotation. This is very important. Look at that. That is my dose. And first muscle, pectoris major, a strong muscle, big muscle. These strong muscles can do internal rotation. Thus, we use internal rotation in daily life and sports a lot, right? That is why we have such a big muscles. So from next picture, I am going to explain external rotator. This is still a posterior view. External rotation. External rotation. Number one is this muscle. This is deltoid. Particularly posterior fiber. We just looked deltoid anterior fiber for internal rotation. It's like same logic. This is on posterior part. Direction of fiber is diagonal. Thus, posterior fiber can do external rotation. Number two. This one. This is infraspinatus. Infraspinatus. This is part of rotator cuff. Let me explain number three first. Number three is this one. This is teres minor. Both infraspinatus and teres minor originates from posterior part of scapula. Then it, they insert to posterior part of Humerus. Thus, these two muscles can do external rotation. They are not like teres major and latissimus dorsi, correct? I have to keep repeating. Latissimus and teres major originate from backside of body and insert to anterior part. Infraspinatus and teres minor originate from backside of body and it, they insert to backside of humerus, thus these guys can do external rotation. Oh, that's it. Only three muscles can do external rotation. If you compare to internal rotators, these guys are not very big, like latissimus dorsi, pec major, deltoid anterior fiber. That is why internal rotation is more powerful compared to external rotation. Rotation. I hope this video helps the understanding of the movement of shoulder joint. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.